Hi friends, it's Mrs. LeBron here. I'm here to teach you a new rewiring lesson. Earlier in the week, Mrs. Benby introduced to you a new syllable type, which was consonant L-E. So you would have a consonant plus an L-E. Oftentimes this is at the end of a word, so you need to be looking for the end of the word. It does have an E, and we've talked about the different powers of E, vowel consonant plus an E, and two E's together. This has an E, but it's a new type of syllable. And we are going to use the symbol of a triangle, okay? So write this word on your board. And we'll practice fishing it to, fish hooking it together, okay? So you see an E. Ooh, do you see a vowel consonant plus an E? Nope, this P is a consonant. So you know it's our consonant L-E pattern. So just like everything, you're going to go at the end of the word. You're going to, is this a vowel? Yes. What does it get? A that. Is this a vowel? No. Is this a vowel? No. Is this a vowel? No. Is this a vowel? Yes. What does it get? A dot. Is this a vowel? No. So, again, you have to look for your patterns. Consonant plus an L-E. You have a consonant plus an L-E. That is where you're going to put your fish hook. Okay, that's going to be one whole syllable type. Um, one syllable. And then go to your next vowel. Fish hook the consonant in front. How many fish hooks do you have? You have two. You need two lines. Everything on the first fish hook goes on the first line. Everything on the second fish hook goes on the second line. Okay, remember E is not going to say it's to say anything. It's going to be silent E um, when you have consonant L-E, so it's not going to say anything. Um, so this is really just your blend, and we talked about the symbol for that as a triangle. Sometimes we put the C and the L and the E. You don't have to, but that might just be a reminder about consonant L-E. So you have the triangle right here, and so it's going to say pull, and this, your I is safe and sound. Make it round, safe and sound. It's going to say it's, it's going to say it's sound. So let's read it. S-I-M, S-I-M, S-I-M. This syllable says sim, and let's add it with this syllable. Pull, pull, put them together. Sim, pull, simple, simple. No, so your word is simple. That means something's like pretty easy. It's simple. All right, erase your boards. Let's do another one. How about this one? Write it on your board. If you need to pause the video and do that, that's fine, and then just continue. All right, we are again fish hooking consonant plus L-E words. So go ahead and dot your vowels. All right, take a look at your pattern. We have a consonant L-E word, consonant L-E. So you're going to grab those. It's a blend together. You can't split them apart. Remember, blends are friends. Go ahead and fish hook those. And then you have to fish hook... These. It doesn't have a consonant to grab in front, so it's just going to fish hook itself, okay? So you have two fish hooks. You need two lines. Everything in the first fish hook goes on the first line. Second fish hook, second line. Remember, the point of fish hooking is to figure out what kind of vowel sounds we need to make and what other patterns we see in the words. So the most important part is to read the word. So we have this is this U is protected, so it's going to be a closed syllable. It's going to say uh, n, un. And here's our consonant L E, where our syllable, so it gets a triangle. And remember, E can't say anything. It's this is this is just going to say the blend. Cool, cool. So let's put it together. Un, un, cool, un, cool, uncle. What's your word? Your word is uncle. You might have an uncle that you're related to. All right. Um, but let's do one more. The last one is this word. All right. You knew it was going to be a consonant L-E word. That's what we're working on. So once again, go ahead and fish up the, or excuse me, dot the vowel. Is this a vowel? Yes. Is this a vowel? No. Is this a vowel? No. Is this a vowel? No. Is this a vowel? Yes. Is this a vowel? No. All right. Be looking for your patterns. Consonant L-E. There it is. Grab the whole blend. Consonant L-E. Grab that whole syllable. Fish hook it. And then this, you're going to grab the consonant in front after this U. So again, two fish hooks, two lines. 
everything in the first line, a first fish hook goes on the first line, everything on the second fish hook goes on the second line, okay? So this is protected. The U is gonna say that sound, it's gonna say oh, uh. no, yeah, it's gonna say uh, yep, uh, uh, uh. The G protects it from running away. It's closed syllable. This is a consonant LE, E's not gonna say anything. The symbol is a triangle, okay? So let's read the word, most important part. J, a, g, j, a, g, j, a, g, jug, gull, gull. Put it together. Jug, gull, juggle, juggle, juggle. Your word is juggle. Do you know what that is? It's when you have uh, like um, balls or apples or something in your hand and you try to juggle them. Um, you throw them in the air and you try to catch them. Juggle is the word. All right. Um, last job. I would like you to use the word uncle and juggle, which we just fish hooked. And you're going to write a sentence with those. Okay. Your sentence is Uncle Bob likes to juggle. You know those other words because they're sight words. And even um, you can do your sound out words for Bob. It's a CBC word. Uncle Bob likes to juggle. All right, go ahead and write, write that sentence. Take a picture or write it on the slide next. Bonus points, you can um, identify the nouns, the person, place, or thing in your sentence. All right, have fun.